Hi everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt, host and owner of WargamingRecon.com, and I'm here with another unboxing video for you. So you might have seen some of our other videos. We've done a lot of them where there's a lot of unboxing videos of product that we're going to review on the podcast or in other videos. We do a podcast comes out every other week, and this time we got a really cool unboxing for you. So I got this package today. I actually got a notice earlier today saying. It was being out for delivery by 8 o'clock, and I was like, oh, maybe it'll come in time so I could do an unboxing for all of you. Wanted to do it really fast. It is from Crescent Root. If you're not familiar with them, and you should be, but if you're not, they make amazing terrain. It's pre-painted mostly, although now you can get some that's not painted if you want a more affordable option. Pre-assembled, and at most, you usually just have to kind of stack like a second level of a, a building on. It's great for bolt action. You can use it for black powder. You can use it for just about anything. But most of it is Western European. They do have a whole line of Middle Eastern and Arabian kind of style that you could use for anything over there. You could use a World War One. You can use a World War Two. You could anywhere there's a desert. Actually, you could use it. You could use it with the Modest Wars. You could do all sorts of stuff. I don't know what's in this box. I just know that Crescent Root has sent this to us, and I appreciate that they sent this for us for a review. So we're going to just dive right in and see what's in here. I know they have a whole new line of what they refer to as hybrid terrain. Their original stuff was uh, MDF, I believe. And they also do some really cool plastics and variations on that. But this is new stuff. So we're going to see what it is. It's 28 mil. And the owner and I have been talking to each other for about a year trying to see what we could do because... I wanted to review some stuff. Adrian, who's one of my co-hosts on Wargame Recon, has the 28mm Church, and it's gorgeous. We used it for a bolt action game we ran at TotalCon, and love it, and just really exciting to see what's in here. So let's open up this box. I'm not sure, but I believe we might be the first to unveil this. Crescent Root obviously has it in the website, but I don't think anyone else has their hands on these yet. So let's just kind of take a peek and see what's in here. So we open up. You can see the box. It's nicely packaged. This was sent priority mail. You get some packaging. We take that out. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, these look nice. So we'll take out the first one. Each one's individually wrapped. Let's see here. We'll actually get you get it out of the bag for you to see. That's one building. Here's another one. Looks to me like a 20 millimeter scale small western farmhouse. And oh my, we got a whole baggie here full of other stuff. So let's see what's in. So we've got oh, that's really nice. So Mark, he's the owner. Sent a little baggie with business cards. And we'll hold that up so you can get information. On him. We'll also have it in descriptions below. We'll have it in our postings for stuff so you can see if you want to get in touch with Crescent Root, that's what you want to do. The website is crescentroot.com. Get a little note from him. Jonathan, thank you for your support. Mark, so that's pretty cool. And then what else is in there? There's other goodies. So there's a wall. We also get two wall corners and some barrels. And yes. This is all pre-painted, and let's start opening some of these things up so you can actually see what's in them. Now, Adrian's came in a box. It was a special box, and he has it all together. It fits, you know, second way. He also has a small crescent root thing. These seem to be done more in how JR Miniatures would do their stuff. You can also get um, Sarissa, I believe, does it this way in foreground where you just get the bag, you know, I think it's supposed to be a more affordable way. So we have the little farmhouse, and I took the roof off. You can see it's fully painted. Get some nice shots for you. You can see underneath some of the construction. As the camera focuses on that for you. You can look towards the light, as you can see little chimney which is neat you can see inside you 
Let's move that light source. You can see a little better after I move it. I'll try a different setup with my lighting here. So let's see. Now that's much better. So you can see right in here. That's inside. And we get another roof right here. Let's see if it comes off. It does. <laughs> I wasn't honestly sure. And you can see right in there. Look. Some lighting. And we'll just rotate you guys a little bit. To provide a little better lighting in there. So this is the model. It looks gorgeous. And one of the things I like is with the roofs, they just fit on. It's a nice snug fit. It's good to go. And as far as I can tell, there's no wrong way to put on the roof. So if you want the chimney at uh, this end of the house, great. If you want it in the middle, which would be a little weird, because if you look inside, you can see that there's a door. So there's probably not going to be a fireplace in there. But if you want the chimney line there, bam, you can do that. And the door, does the door open? No, the door, I think this might be MDF. So you can move the door. Oh, wait, the door does open. The door opens some. I'm not sure if it's supposed to open all the way. And I don't understand. Well, heck, it does open all the way. Hey, <laughs> Crescent Root, amazing me yet again. So that's the small farmhouse. We get an outbuilding here. So let's look at this outbuilding and see what we got. Uh, you might be thinking, like, how am I going to store these? What are you going to do? Well, I got the shipping box, right? So I thought I'd put in that, the packaging. You can buy cases, whatever. This stuff is really durable. As I said, Adrian has that 20 millimeter church and he has a small thing and he puts them in their boxes so they stay really good. But one thing he also does, I think he just has them in the bag. So he puts all the pieces in the bags and he has these big Tupperware uh, rubber, rubber, mate, um, rubber mate totes. You can get on Amazon. We'll have a link below. It'll be an affiliate link. And he just he sh puts these in here like that. So they fit in with all the other stuff and they move around a little. There's no chips. They've been great. These are newer. I'm going to presume these are going to be as durable. I know they're supposed to be a more affordable option, but no reason to doubt that they won't be as durable. So you can see here, another nicer look. The door opens. That, I love that the door opens. That's amazing. The paint job is gorgeous. You can see at the bottom, the roof comes up. Inside, it's painted as well. That's another piece. And let's take out the rest of the stuff. We'll do an actual full review of this at a later point for the show. Just kind of want to show you everything first. Look, the walls, the ends are done. Uh, we get the small wall pieces. So I believe the idea is, and I could be wrong, because unfortunately, right at the moment that I'm recording this, the Crescent Root website for the section for this new stuff. I can't load the page, so I wasn't able to look beforehand. But I believe the idea is you buy, like, the farmhouse, and you can get the separate building separate, or you can do it as a whole kit, so you get everything together. Here's the corner pieces for the walls. So you can see that they're really nice. They feel good. They're lightweight, but they're solid. And you get some oil drums here, which we'll take out so you can see in a moment. So this would be really good for, like, World War II kind of style stuff. Again, for bolt action. So here's just one of them. You can see on the end, they look really good. There's weathering on them. There's a trio. So I'm just going to quickly, actually, make a little scene down here on my game table for you all to look at and see what it looks like here with everything all set up. And I'm sure there's an actual desired way that it's done, but we'll just kind of make a thing and see how it all goes. Oh, we get this air. And then let's take you down for a look. So you can see my crotch. I'm sorry about that. So you can see I'm actually on a crescent, not a crescent root, like a crescent root here. I'm on a cigar box battle mat. This is their grassland too. 
So if you see here, we'll get nice and close. So we just made a little scene here. And this is how nice it looks on the table front here with just this battle mat. There's no models or anything, but this is modular. So you don't like it here? Let's move it. You want this to be done like that? Awesome. And you just play around with things however you want them to be. You can buy more walls if you like. Hey, look. And we get a different scene entirely. Maybe these are stacked up right here, right? Provides a little bit of cover for your figures. Would be nice. So this is a really cool set. Unfortunately, I don't have any pricing for you. I don't have any of that kind of information at that time. We were given this um, gratis for review purposes, and we will be reviewing them. We really do appreciate Crescent Root. And Mark for sending this our way. We hope to review more Crescent Root product. This stuff looks really, really nice. I'm thoroughly impressed by this paint job. Look at this. This is just gorgeous here. I mean, these buildings are something else. Lightweight, so you're not going to be weighed down heavily by it, but it's solid. It's durable. It's not like picking up a piece of paper, you know? You're not going to be like, oh, look, worry about it blowing away. I'm kind of tossing it a little bit. And you hear the thud, right? It's fine. There's no chips or whatever. Don't go throwing it down a flight of stairs or anything, but you get the picture, right? So this it looks really good. It's a nice kit. And I think you're going to be really impressed. The roofing is really cool. Almost makes me think with the tiles of maybe an Italian or Spanish influence. But you could really use it for just about anywhere. Basque country, maybe. Perhaps even portions of France. It looks really nice. I like it. I could even see this being used for modern warfare, force on force, perhaps. You could use it for a bunch of things. So as you look at my hand, <laughs> just I want to thank you for watching this unboxing video. I want to give thanks from everyone at wargamingrecon.com to Crescent Root for sending this review product. I want to remind you, we have new episodes of the podcast every other week at wargamingrecon.com. You can listen to your favorite podcast app, whether you're on Android or you're on an Apple device, stream to the computer through our website, whatever you like, you can find us. And we have many other videos, both unboxing and also videos of us recording the show on our YouTube channel. You can just get that really easily. When we have guests on, we record live so you can see the video of us talking and we'll often hold things up. So when we talk about Crescent Root on the show, I'll be like, Crescent Root, which, look here, look at this stuff. So you can see, we'll talk a little bit more about it and some of the other guys get involved. So we get some great co-hosts on and just talk about all this kind of stuff. So thank you very much yet again for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you will like, subscribe, comment, do all those things that you know you're supposed to do. And as always, keep on gaming.